What's up, YouTube? This is Mikuji Crypto. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin, specifically BTC slash USDT. And I'm going to be giving you guys a complete top down analysis of Bitcoin, which means we'll be taking a look at Bitcoin from a monthly aspect, followed by a weekly aspect, then a daily aspect, and finally a four hourly aspect to give us a better idea of what's currently happening. So let's get started. A few things I have to point out of Bitcoin on the monthly aspect is the fact that we closed very bullish for the month of March. Now, this is the month of April. And as you can see, we are having closed yet. We'll take another 26 days to close. So uh, now I'll go to the weekly aspect to give us a better idea of what's happening. And as you see, we're making a series of higher highs. And I can mark off the structure over here to show you guys that. If I take a trend line from the bottom to the top of the structure, we can see that we were respecting this trend line. Last week, we closed fairly bullish with a bullish hammer candlestick, which is why we had this really nice run towards the upside in the following week after that. Okay, of a good 10%. Now, what I'll do is I'll mark off some major structure and you can appreciate the structure more on the daily aspect. Okay, now there's a few things that you have to uh, keep in mind when you're looking at this. The first thing you have to know is the fact that we have a really nice 50 moving average that has been respected many times in the past. We've nearly hit it once. We've had a bounce towards the upside twice, nearly three times and four times. And every time you've hit it or come close to it, we've had really nice bounces towards the upside. So that's considered one major support zone. The second major support zone is this trend line that I have clearly drawn out as well, where we've hit the area once and we've hit the area twice as well. Now, so that means there's two major support zones. And now I'll try to give us um, a few more support zones. So what I'll do is I'll use the Fibonacci retracement tool on the daily aspect. I'll get the bottom of the impulsive wave to the top of the impulsive wave. And I'll try to determine exactly what has happened. Okay. So yesterday, I believe I made a video on Bitcoin. And I said we could expect a really nice bounce of the 3A2. And if you can see closely, this is the 3A2 level. And that's exactly what ended up happening. We had a really nice bounce of the 3A2. So our next major support zone is the 50 and the 618. So what I'll do over here is I'll mark off the 50 of the Fibonacci zone. And if you look on the four hourly chart, we can also see that the 50 of the Fibonacci zone is a very strong support zone. Okay. We have previous support zones as well. In the past, we have a ascending trend line. So we have a horizontal support zone. We have a 50 of the Fibonacci. We have an ascending trend line. And we have a 50 moving average, as I've already showed you on the daily aspect. That is also correlated with that area as well. So this area is a very strong area as of now. Okay, so I'll get rid of this structure to show you exactly what's happening currently. Perfect. What I'll do is I'll tell you guys exactly what happened recently. Um, Bitcoin had a really tough time trying to break above 60,000. And that's where we were struggling to break above. And we had a really tough time and I did call this play out as well. And I said that, uh, yeah, you can clearly see we had a very tough time breaking up. And then we ended up making a really nice move towards the downside. Right now, Bitcoin is struggling to break above this area as well. And this was the 60, 58,000 mark. And I'll tell you why. Because if I use the impulse wave from the top to the bottom, right, we can see that BTC is exactly at the 618 region as well of a resistance. So this is a major resistance zone that we're trying really hard to break above. Okay, so now what does that mean? That means, and I'll tell you what that means. That means that this area that we're currently at right now for BTC is considered a strong resistance area currently. Okay, and that's this area exactly. And I'll tell you why this move was expected as well. This move was expected because of this. We had a double top. And generally, when you have a double top, you can expect a move back to the midline structure of the double top. And that's exactly what it's given us right now. Now, two scenarios can happen. Either we reject this area and make a way back down to the major zone, as I pointed out in the past, which is at 55,000. Or the second scenario is if we break above this area, retest to go higher. And we can determine that what it's going to do if we go closer to the one hour aspect to get a better idea. So if I go to the hourly aspect, we can see exactly what BTC is doing, okay? And this is exactly what BTC is doing. BTC on the hourly aspect ended up making a bear flag towards the upside. And this is what a bear flag is. A bear flag is a really nice drop towards the downside. Then they have this really nice ascending channel towards the upside, okay? When we get to our resistance area, which is where we're at currently, when we get to our resistance area, 
if we have massive rejection from our resistance area, then we can expect another move towards the downside. Okay, so this is not confirmed yet. This is only confirmed if we break past this trend line, possibly come back up for retest, show more rejection. Then we can expect another move towards the downside. And our move towards the downside would be here, which is again back to the support zone that it tested, tested which is 56,345. And the next area will be the major area of 55,320, which correlates with the ascending trend line as well. Okay. And I'll tell you why this isn't a bad move, move for us, for BTC. If we do end up coming back down to 55,000, I'll tell you why. Because if I go to the daily aspect, right? If I go to the daily aspect and we do make a move back over here, that won't be very bad for us. That's because if we go to the daily aspect and we see uh, get a better idea of what's currently happening, we can see that we are also making an inverse head and shoulders over here with one shoulder ahead and potentially a third shoulder coming in over here. So if that would have happened, that's a very bullish sign for BTC. If that would happen, make another move down over here to the 55,000 mark, possibly even lower to 54,500 or so. We can expect a bounce, a really nice bounce off of this side. And this would be possibly a confirmation for a inverse head and shoulders. Okay. And what does that mean for us? That will mean that will put BTC at 70,000. Okay, so if I measure an inverse head and shoulders from the bottom to the top, that will put us approximately at 70,000. So if I do this properly, actually, right? Perfect. Yeah, that will put us at 70,000 exactly for BTC. So if we do come back down, that's not a bad thing. Okay. If we do end up breaking this area and coming lower to 55,000, that's not a bad thing because that could just mean an inverse head and shoulders for us, which is a very bullish sign for us. All right. So now let's go to the hourly aspect again. Now I'll give you the scenarios. Obviously, the first scenario is if this area doesn't, um, if this area uh, holds strong, then we can make a move towards the downside. That was the first scenario. Our second scenario is if this area, this resistance area breaks, we can go above, retest. And then that would mean our alts would also be going towards the upside if we end up having this move. Okay. Our second scenario, obviously, is scenario B that I've already pointed out. And that is a move towards the downside back to 56,350. And then after that, 55,300. And possibly even lower to the major trend line. Okay. So those are our two scenarios right now. And that's scenario B. I'll get rid of this. And then scenario C. One second, guys. This is scenario B, as I said. Right. And then scenario C would be obviously a bear scenario. And I don't think a bear scenario is in play at any point soon. Okay. So this is what I currently have for BTC. This bear flag isn't confirmed yet because we haven't broken past the trend line that is holding the price up. Okay. So these are three scenarios. If this resistance area uh, fails to hold, we can break above rebounding and going higher. That's scenario A. Scenario B, if we break past this trend line, there's a good chance we can come back down to 56,366 and then below that again to 55,289. So these are our scenarios. What I'll do is I will uh, give us a quick recap of everything I just said and I'll try to keep this to under two minutes. Okay, so um, on the weekly aspect, as you see, two weeks ago, we closed with a hammer candlestick for BTC, which is why the following week, which was last week, we had a really nice move towards the upside of 10%. Now, if we go to the daily aspect, we can clearly see that BTC is really struggling to break above this area, the psychological level of 60,000, which was up over here. We failed to do so, and then we had a really nice rejection towards the downside with this big green, with this big red candle. Following that, we had a green candle coming towards the upside. And then we came out to a major resistance zone on the four hour chart, which is exactly over here. And we ended up making a really nice bear flag. Now, what could happen is our two scenarios. Our first scenario is a break towards the upside, a retest to go higher. Our second scenario is a move again back to 56,345 and then back to 55,327 showing massive rejection. And if you come down to 55,327 and show rejection at that point in time, this might not be a very uh, bad move either because that would be a confirmation for an inverse head and shoulders if we have rejection at this point in time. And if that were to happen, that will put Bitcoin at approximately $70,000 for Bitcoin, which is a very strong uh, move for Bitcoin to do from our current area, which is scenario B, to the very top will mean that Bitcoin can go up 25% from 55,000 
if it gives us that move of 55,000. It's not confirmed yet, as I've already said, but if we break this trend line, this is a good move. We can move back down to these areas. Okay, so this was my complete top 10 analysis for Bitcoin. If you guys enjoy that and you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe below. I make a video on a daily basis. And again, um, yeah, I make a video on a daily basis. So uh, again, feel free to subscribe. And I try to give us the best setups for numerous altcoins currently. Okay, so again, guys, thank you and have a good one. Bye.